Okay, so we're on the Saxon turn. So uh, King Larry is going to roll. At least King Larry for now. <laughs> and uh, he's got a couple little tactical problems he needs to worry about. One being that uh, his left flank is starting to have some trouble. And he's got one guy hanging out there on his own in front of the line. One unit. But a three will be enough to put, well, one of them back. A one. Oh, and where you probably need it the most, you've got something to do. You can do something. Okay, so we got a six on the left flank. All right, so this guy is good. So I'm going to bring these guys back up. Okay. So in the center, Harold advanced to push back into line. And then you got one guy hanging out there. One guy hanging out there, and you rolled a three. So you can't put them both back. All right, so you're putting that one back, and we're leaving the other guy to his fate. All right. And Brian's doing a little victory dance over there because his evil plan worked. But on this end, you got a six. So, you gonna kill the rabble now or wait till they go home? So, if I did this, you would zone and control both rabble. Can they go move forward and to hit them through no. his zone? No. For right now, that might be the best thing to do. It's not a bad option. And another part of this scenario, um, and off camera Brian's making the chicken dance, um, another part of this scenario that happens, and of course we play this at a convention, but this was true in the real battle as well, uh, William has to win, Harold just has to not lose. So it's really important to keep in mind, so it's really important to keep in mind that the most important thing here is you don't lose the battle. Because once night falls, it's game over. All right, so the one big move is on the flank. You've got the zone of control projected on both rabble with the one heavy foot. And then we have one battle in the center. All right. So Larry, you have heavy foot uphill is a five. Brian, you've got heavy foot. Elite foot. Or sorry, elite foot. They're double overlap, so they're three. Okay. Five to three. So we got a six to five. It's just going to be a fall back. No doubling. All right. Okay. Now we're at the Norman's turn. Oh. One, three, and six. All right. So the Normans have a one, a three. And a six. So we're probably going to get, any minute now, we're going to get Bishop Otto killed. So for one, I'm just going to move him up. They form a... Now they formed a group. That's all I can do yep. there. Three. This is a heavy foot here, correct? That is a heavy foot. So for one, I'm going to take the Jav Cav up and hit him. Okay, so he will be double overlapped. Yep. Okay. So that gives you two more in the center command. Two. Second movement there. And... I'll leave that one left okay. over. I don't think I'll do much with it. But here I have a six. Wow. Got a good mess up here. So one here. Okay. I've got to get the skirmisher back in there. And we have a skirmisher that's kind of out of position. Move him up here. Two. Okay. 
two, four command points left. So we gotta do something with the line here, or? Yeah, I'm gonna go three, four. Okay. Now presenting a solid shield wall to the enemy. I think that's everything I'm going to do for right now. Okay. So, All right. so I'm right. going to have combat. Two combats. Three so I'm going to combats. move over. I'm going to do combat from the Saxon perspective. Cause so it's going to be right. a six. Switching views, so we're uphill, looking down from the Saxon line. So six to zero. I'm a one to twelve. <laughs> so he's going to recoil. I don't even know that. I don't even know the name for that. Yeah, I don't either. Just um, run away, I guess. Extra tuppling? No, that's not right. Um, so he's going to end up popping back here for evade. Okay. So he's okay. moving and evading. The house Carl's coming forward. Where do you want to go next? Next, we'll go here. Okay, we have a double uh, double overlapped heavy foot uphill, but he mounted. So he's gonna be starts at a three, four, goes to a two, two, and I'm a three, and jab caps a three. So I'm a seven. Uh oh, rut row to his three. Seven to three is a doubling. The jab cap actually kills something, and charges forward in glorious victory. Now do I charge forward? Base step. My base step. Yep. Oh. Should put you ouch, 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 right ouch. into double overlap <laughs> combat. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But remember, it's jab cap versus heavy, heavy foot. foot. He can't. All able. he can do is pull him forward, thus filling the hole in the line. Okay. Uh huh. Skirmisher over here. I'm gonna double overlap, so I'm gonna be a zero, and you are a uh, normally a four, but you're in the woods two, so a three. Three is zero. Okay. I'm a one to your six. Okay. So, so that'll pull him out of line. And he'll the evade down the hill. Oh, that looks a little different from over here, Larry. <laughs> Alrighty. Look at all those guys coming up the hill at you. Alright, so it's time for King Harold's turn. We got a three on the right, a six in the center, and a five on the left. I think that uh, Duke William could be facing some trouble now. Well, playing it safe on the right flank, Larry puts the guy that Brian just spent all that time and effort pulling out a line, he puts him right back. And un now, the unfortunate thing is that even though you have him double overlap, you can't trap him because Brian's got his line mm -hmm. up there to support that jab cav. You're pulling that guy back? All that hard work and he's undoing it. <laughs> what do I do down here? Uh, well, if he moves forward... <clears throat> he's going to make you snap and conform to him. So you'll be overlap fighting in the woods. And you don't have... If he just hits you with the one guy, you don't have a zone of control anymore. Right now you got them both in zone of control. Yeah, but remember, it's, it's um, combat will cut it off. Yep. All right. So three days later, three days later, Larry has finally decided. <laughs> I'll edit that part out. All right. No, so. <laughs> Oh, that part's definitely making the day. That's definitely making the cut. All right. All right, so Larry's finally decided to I think we're gonna do that. back that guy up. Get him out of bad going. Get him out of the bad going. Because he's out of bad going here, he's, correct? He's out of bad going 
Yeah. Show me where he's out of bed. He's going. out of bed going right there. Yep, he's out of the bed going. So now his combat edge will not be in bed going. And that should be, I want to leave. Yeah, not that it really. Okay, so he well, said. Well, I'm not quite sure what so, that does. Well, it, it says it that the, out of the, bed going. The, the front line is basically on their own because you're only going to deal with one rabble at a time. But it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. he's going to move forward anyways. Got it. And if he's going to fight and if he's going to put him into combat, take him out of bad go or out of zone of control, I'd rather have him fighting in, not in bad going. Got it. I'm telling you, rabble in the rear, not a good thing. Okay, so here we go. So that right. was so the left flank. This we have one combat, and it's double overlapped jav cav. That one in its last round of combat is charging into trouble. So that jab cab is going to be a one versus foot. Now, just to clarify, for you're past the hill edge. Yes, that's what I want to say. So clarify. you're on the level watching. ground. You mm -hmm. are beyond the edge of the hill. So there's no hill disadvantage or hill advantage, I should say, for Larry. So we have a three to two. Three to no, one. Three to He's one. He's double overlapped. Yeah, so three to one. Okay. And we have a six for the jab cab. Larry doesn't trust me, so he's double checking the rules. <laughs> Five. Five. That's it okay. Was it was cocked. Six. six. Okay. <laughs> is that one cocked too? No. All right, so we have a, a six nine, plus nine three is six. nine to six, and it didn't matter anyway because all it's going to be is a fallback. Right back to where he was. Right where he wanted to be. Lot, be like, exactly yep. where Brian wanted him to be. Yep. Okay. So you got a, you got a tooth missing there, Larry. Right, what's going on with that? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Chunk in your line. Ah, yeah. All right, so it's the Normans' turn. Okay, so Normans have rolled a one. Bishop Odo doesn't want to die yet. A two and a three. Always sequential, those Normans. All right, so these guys are going to come up the hill. Okay, those guys there. They're going to come up the hill, and then they're going to snap over? Yep. And they've got the distance, the move distance to get there. So they came up, and then they align, which is the only time you can actually move your troops basically obliquely is to line up in combat. So you have to either within within 2 MU, or you have to actually physically make contact and slide. So that's one command point there. One command point. Second. Oh, and the big rabble move that Larry was Second worried about. command point there. Now, interesting thing about the rabble, he actually could fight the guy that's in the rear if he's covered as a complete flank. So you could do that in sequence. You could actually fight the guy in the rear first. You but if you bounce side. off, you're not there for the front guy. Yeah. Okay? And then for the third command point, I'm going to move up the mounted. Through your skirmishers. That's actually an extra command point because you moved through the skirmishers. Oh, you can't move through skirmishers for free? You can move through the skirmishers, but you can't do it as a group. Yeah, okay. So when you're passing through another line, it's actually not a group move. Okay. Brian, did you want to leave this guy so he's covered fully over here? Because right now he's not. Can um, he make it without... I don't know if he's got the uh, room. Yeah, I think I'm side to yeah, side. he's side to side guy. with his own guy. No, he's you got room here. Okay. You could come over this way. Probably better. So that you can cover it. Okay. Just to okay. make sure so that when you... All right, well, since I can't do that, I'm just going to move him up. That's it for that command. Mm -hmm. You could also move the skirmisher back through for one behind the horses. No, don't want to do that. Okay. Um... Skirmisher? By definition, does he have the... Yeah, he should be exactly where he needs to be then. Okay, so that's one. Okay. And I don't, the problem is I can't get that second one in there. Yeah, you don't have enough space between the lines because you only got a, a narrow base between them. Okay, so back in the center. With your remaining command point, you're going to move the whole line up. Yep, we're going to try to... I'm trying that theory of if I pop a hole and lose somewhere, the knights can come in and take advantage. 
at some point something's got to break free up here. Something's so got to give them. Okay. Now, isn't he part of that? No. No. This that one was? Okay. Yeah. Yep. yep. And then with one command point here. This seems vaguely familiar. You can just move up to there. Oh, he's not going all the way in. I, he doesn't have the movement. I ah, think. okay. Well, he would have recoil. Yeah, he should by definition have he should the have, movement. Yeah, he should have been there. So he might have slid down the hill a bit. Okay. So, but like I said, it seems vaguely familiar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's start down here. Oh. Starting on the far end. Yep. Um, well, let's start here. Heavy foot versus heavy foot. Uphill advantage takes you to so a, a five. Four to a five. Back down, down to, to a four. Four to four. Oh, oh. Ten to five. we have a six and a one. Uh, no possibility of falling back because of the rabble. So and we're dead. I actually go forward because I doubled them. And up. you go forward. Okay. Um, let's go next door. That's elite foot, so I'm a five. That's heavies. And correct. A four. Yep. Um, you're a four to a five down to a four because I'm yep. overlooked. Okay, so five to four. E Plus six as they lock. Mm -hmm. All right. Going next door. Elite foot so versus be, elite foot. You should be a six to my five. Is that yep. elite? Because You're both elite. Yep, yep, he's elite. Mm -hmm. All of his guys in chainmail are dismounted knights, oh, gotcha. and they're okay. elite. Yep. They lock. They lock. Okay. Now the next one is House Carl, Griff, the General. So he'll be a seven because he's uphill um, to a five. So we're going to switch. Those are both going to be down by mm -hmm. one. Yeah, let's go here next. Actually, let's go right there. Okay. Um, so you're going to be a six to my five. Six to five. I'm going to, they lock. <laughs> So nothing can affect this now. So that's right. Seven to five. Seven to five in there. I'm a seven. Uh, you're going to back up. To fall nine. back one. Okay. And then there, I'm going to be a three to your five. So I'm a nine. I'm a nine. Locked. Locked. Wow. Okay. Um. Your advantage is on this end if you're looking for one. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go here. So I'm going to be a four to my four, to your four. Uh oh. Six. Uh, yeah, fall back. And they're, well, you can flip them because they're, they're the, the same, same troop type. Yeah. Okay. Here I'm elite, so I'm a five to your. Four, four up to a five back down to a four. Yep. Eleven to eight. So he, oh, he's gonna now he's going to push everybody back, including the horde behind him. You can just move that tree out of the way if it's in the way. Okay. And then that's going to make this an even up battle. Five to five. Oops. Six to ten. But that did save your bacon slightly. And then I'm going to be a five down to a four. And five. Five. five to seven. So I pull back. And then Skirmisher. I'm going to be a zero to your six. So I'm a four to your eight. So he does double and come down the hill, which is what we want. There you go. Okay. Okay. And then the last combat is zero, two, three. Ooh. But it just backs them up. So we didn't have a doubling there. Okay. So. Now we got a mess. Now we definitely now have we a mess. mess. Pause and overview of the battle. What we have right now. Uh, this command is at 12 points. It's going to break at more than 16. So 16 won't break it because it's a 52-point command, but if it gets beyond that, it will break.
Um, so it's a little bit tenuous on the left flank. Center still holding strong. Uh, right flank still holding strong with loss of only three points. And the Normans have really only lost uh, a skirmisher. On each end. And a rabble. And a rabble. And a rabble. So not a lot of death yet, but a whole lot of chaos here in the center. Okay, so we're back to... So for back to the Norman turn. One command point, I'm going to take all the shield wall in here. We're going all in. Again. All right, so Eustace so is trying really hard to break the Saxon so left one. flank. For two. And then... No significant advantage for pushing the ramble in, is there? No. So I'm going to bring him up for three. Okay. So that's it for there. So that's the right flank of the Normans. This is not going to be an exciting move. Nor is this. And one. And once again, that no, seems can't do much vaguely with, familiar. You can't do much with one. Okay. All right. So all the action is down here. Yes. Where are so we starting? We're going to start here. I'm going to leap foot, so I'm a five. Uh... So heavy foot four up, up to a five, back down to a four because of the wrap. Okay. So five to four. All righty. Oh, so and ten to eight. I have to fall back. Fall back, fall back. All right, so over on the other flank, he's pulling there. So if he comes up yep. and hits me, You'll just push they back. lose. They Everybody just, push just pushes back because okay. you're all lined up. All right, very good. Because I want to make sure I had enough. Yeah, you can't quite get there in one move. Right, so now that I can do that, I'll be able to mm -hmm. get in there next time. Yep. Um, that's all I want to do there, here. I think I'm good. Okay. So we'll go with... Uh, Where do you want to start? Uh, we'll go here. Got one there. Uh, double overlap, delete foot. So I'm a six to his three. three. Five to your seven. Backs him up nicely. And we're a five to your zero. Rot roll. Six to five. five. I'm still just back still up. gonna back up. You gotta go. Does he have the movement? Or does he have to go through? I think he's gonna have to pass he's through. Gonna go through. He'll end up behind the. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He does it just barely. Okay. okay. All right. And we're three to zero, right? Six. Four. Okay. And we're back to the Norman's turn. One. That helped. Three. Four. Hmm. One didn't help much there, did it? No. All right, so after the Norm Pip roll, while Brian's thinking, we'll go over the tactical situation. So we've got uh, Saxon troops falling back, uh, refusing this flank, and putting zone of control on these troops to protect the troops on the end of the line here. Brian rolled one pip for Count Eustace, so he doesn't have the pip or command points to maneuver uh, much on this side. In the center, we have a bit of a stalemate where the troops are coming in, they're getting bounced back. Uh, they're waiting for that opportunity for the Knights to charge home. And over here on this flank, because the Saxons have been able to hold the woods, uh, we also have a similar situation where we're stalled out on the hill. So. Duke William is kind of stalled, and he needs to make something happen. So, sun's getting getting low. Pip your nose. <laughs> All right, with one command pip, Eustace is going to push in the line. That's all I can do there. Okay. In the center. Come in here. Bring in the one. skirmishers. Bring Two. in the skirmishers. And maybe form a group. There. Okay. That's it for them. Uh, 
one. This guy's getting tired of running back and forth. Up the hill. <laughs> two. Actually, yeah, two. Three. And the jab cav. Okay. Oh, no, I can't do that. That's the wrong uh, command. Oh, that is part That is part of uh, yeah. William's center, so that has to stay back. He actually goes back in line, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Full base width. Yeah. You could do that. You could bring the jab cap from the other command. So what I'm going to do the last... So you can move up to two. You can move two. Oh boy. You can also go back a little bit. He doesn't want to do that. He just wants to be able to. There we go. Yep. He okay. just wants to come over and hit him on the flank. Well, <laughs> all right. so that was a common of... common game, yeah. common theme in shield wall battles. The lines get longer and longer and you try to wrap the flank. Those guys aren't exactly part of the shield wall, but they can affect it. All right, where would you like to start, Brian? Um... Lots of die rolling here. Let's start here on the end. Okay, here we go. Four to four. Oh, Zooming no. in. Oh, it's going to be five to five, I'm sorry. Ten to seven, so you back up. Which is going to make that a, a five to a six down to a five. Five to five. Ten to seven. And oh, those are, this. yeah, those are actually lead, so you got to push back. There you go. We can't switch those out. All right. Six to five. Yep. Eight to seven. Oh, wow. Oh, ten to seven, so he pushed Push back. back the general. Well, that's interesting, because if you get up across that hill, you're actually going to get rid of his hill advantage. Okay, so that should make that five to five. And then nine to six. Wow. And that's going to make that four to four. Right. Well, now I got to push back there. And then uh, I'm going to be a three. A three to his five. So I'm a seven to nine. So he's going to fall back. And then that's zero to six. six. So three to ten. And that's going to be the evade and the doubling. Wow. And then there, zero to five. Okay. So I'm a four. So not enough. Just four to seven, so he just falls back. back. Not doubling. You're going to have to fall back behind. Now, where do you want to go? Um, let's see here. Well, let's go. Just walk it down the line, I guess. Elite foot versus elite foot. So five. Five. Six to four, because I'm overlapped. Yep. Eight to ten. Now you have a seven. To four. I'm a ten. With eleven. Now you have a six four. to four. Six. Ten. Eleven again. Going back. Five to four. Seven, say lock. Four, five to four. Ooh. Six to eight. Falling back, and then the skirmisher. Zero to three. So I'm a five to four. The skirmisher won. Okay. Okay. All right. Now it's going to be the Saxon's turn. All right, so King Harold's got four command pips, six and three. And then the question is, what do we do with them? You can pull him back into line. Back. So I'm down to four. Mm -hmm. I'll bring them. That entire block can come forward if you want for one. Okay. 
Does he count with that? Uh, isn't that in the other command? It is. Yeah, no. So that block, the block with the horde could come right. forward if they okay. wanted to. So I want to do there. Mm -hmm. and I'm probably going to do this anyways. And he's coming forward for one of your command pips on the side. So you should have three left in the center for command pips and two on the flank. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the center anymore. I think the center is done moving, right? Now i got to figure out what I'm going to do here. On this flank, we have the rabble starting to cause a problem with the wrap on the end. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, so we have a three, a two, and a two. We'll take another shot from the Saxon side of the line. The biggest threat so far being on the left flank. The center holding. And the right flank is holding. So I'll bring my guys back in line. Okay. That's the That's two for the center. Play the uh, extend the flank game with the uh, mm -hmm. skirmishers over here. Okay. And put him in line. That's your two. Yep. Okay. I'll bring these guys forward for one. Hmm. I just want to make sure. You're still good there. I can probably bring this up a little bit, can I? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Lots of combat rolls. Where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start down here. So I'm a five. To your two, right? To a five. So we have four to a five. And he's a five down to a three. Yep. yep. So he didn't double him, but he does push him back. So I'm a seven to my four. To your four. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, and then our next here. combat opportunity on the left flank. Go here first. I'm a five to a six. You're a five to a four. That one's not quite right. There we go. I'm an eight to your nine. Push them back. Now the general will be a seven here. To a four. To a four. So I'm a nine to nine. To nine locked. So oh, he's a six to a five. Here, a six to a five. Okay, so we have a seven to an eight. So he actually pushes you back. And on the end, so a four to a five to a five. Five to five. No, I'm a four. four. I'm a four, four to, to four. Five. So I'm a seven to your nine. Push back. Right. Okay, quite the scrum going on, and it's the Norman's turn. Three, three, two, two, five, five. Well, that's a little bit better.
Okay, so we've changed the camera angle so we get a little bit better shot looking along the battle line. And as you can see, uh, William's forces coming up the hill, getting bounced back down the hill. Um, a little bit of action on the flanks, but uh, so far, Larry using King Harold's forces has been able to refuse that left flank and still hold it on. Uh, we just got done rolling the Norman command pips. We've got five for Bishop Odo. We have what, three, two in the center yep. for William. And Eustace has three. Okay. So we're going to continue on with the battle with the Norman's turn. Generally speaking, Larry, the fact that I'm standing on your side of the board filming the action is not a good thing. <laughs> But it all happens down here eventually. Okay. Two. So the rabble pulling a slide out of zone of control, but put the heavy foot in zone of control still. And then moving up to take advantage of the overlap on this end. Probably creating command control issues for Harold's next turn. Right, two here. In the center, sending the skirmishers. It, it does seem it. vaguely familiar after a while. The problem it's isn't sending in the skirmishers, it's taking advantage of them, of what they do uh, on the battle line. Don't worry, Larry. There, he's almost out of arrows. Never let the rabble get in trees. Two. And that's a legal move because he's moving two MU from one Zoc to another Zoc, but not engaging a separate enemy. See what he's doing. He's taking. Okay. Well, he. I think he's decided that after staring at the woods for a long time with the javelin cavalry, it's probably not a good idea to charge into the trees. So he'd probably like to deploy them somewhere where they're not actually fighting in the woods. Although he did put their toe in there. So Bishop Odo has two command points left. He's going to push in the heavy foot line, elite foot, shield wall on shield wall. We've got an overlap with the javelin cavalry. That's about all I can do. Okay. Right. Where do you want to start your command? Let's start down here. Combat rolls. Combat rolls down so, here. Elite foot, five. Heavy foot is a four, up to a five, back down to a four. So five to four. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, but we have a six, five. one, which is a doubling. So your elite foot will charge up the hill in victory. And that will not yet. No. almost, but not quite, break the command. Got to kill one more. So one more death on the left Saxon will, will break that command. Go here. You're going to be a six, um, seven for uphill, down to a six because of the uh, overlap. So I'm a nine. You're twelve. Nine, twelve. Back up. Okay. Um, six to four. Six to four. Uh oh. Twelve to five. He's dead. So he's doubled, and the house carls will charge down the hill. And then I'm double overlapped, so I'm a two. Two to five. Eight to four. Killed him as well. He's doubled, and the heavy foot will charge down the hill. Okay. A lot of death on so the left flank. Grimishers are going to be a zero. Six. Out of 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Why did you move forward here? Because he double horn doubled me. He doubled this one? No, no skirmisher. the skirmisher. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the skirmisher. I got it. And then we have a... I'm a six to your... It's going to just be a fallback. No, that's right. And evade. So I go forward, right? Did you go... No. It didn't no. double him. No, it was no, a no, fallback. He didn't quite double him because he rolled a six. All right, so... Moving down the line. Let's go here. You didn't. You didn't attack me. He didn't attack him. He was that's right. I'm he's yeah. So he's just he's just okay. back from an attack. But Let's this go. guy. Yeah. All, All right. right. So I'm going to be a four. To your four. Nine to five. So make that four right. to four. Six to. Well, he's a four. F yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, I'm a five, seven, seven, yep. eight. So I still lost. You still lost by one. That's gonna be six to four. I'm a ten to your eleven. Seven uh, to seven to four. Seven to four. Ooh. Uh oh. Eleven to five. Got him. Eleven to five. So doubled, and the general will charge forward. That's Leofin. And then now we have double the last. It's going to fall back. Just falls back. Well, that was a lot. Now we're all hanky day, hanky panky here. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. I believe it's my. It's the Saxon command rolls. Five. We have a five. Six. We have a six. Three. And a three. If he goes into combat, it doesn't take them out of zone of control, right? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, zone of control is broken by combat. So um, if he if he enters combat with you, then that zone of control will be gone. We're back on the Saxon move. We have two, four, and three for command points. I've got those done. We already We've done those. these. Yep. So I'm going to move these forward for one. Hang on a sec. Hang on. All right, here we go. So I'm going to move four for one. Okay. Taking advantage of the double overlap on his elite foot. Nope, not quite a double overlap. Sorry, I forgot he's got elite foot coming up the hill. Brian, your evil plan to create holes for the knights to charge through the work. Oh, there's holes there now. Okay, so you're moving that guy forward, even though yep. he's in zone of control, the one guy. The one guy. Yeah, but he didn't move more than two, didn't so he's more okay. than two. So I can move him. He's not in zone of control, he can go three. Oh, that's right. He can go another one. Now that guy's in zone of control. Right. And there's some tricky maneuvering going on on that left flank. All right. The whole battle is being decided, I think, on this flank. Okay. All right. Combat rules. Where would you like to start, King Harold? I've switched calm King Harold. It's just an assumption on my part. It's an illegitimate. 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 Yeah, I don't think he was actually technically called a bastard, but somebody around I'm calling him a bastard. Hmm. Crushes left flank, you might have a chance to do that. Let's get out of here. All right, we're starting <laughs> over here in the woods. <laughs> we'll go here. 
Okay. Um, wait a second. That's a four to a. Four. All right. So yeah, basically. So if we do this one, because the combat edge takes place in the rough terrain, mm -hmm. minus one for the mounted, minus two for the close order foot. So he'll be a three. Started a three to a one. He starts at a three. Right. Goes, goes down to a two four. to a one. And back up to a two. Back up to a two because he's uphill. That's right. He'll start at a three. Goes down to a two for the overlap. Goes and goes down, down to a one. one for the rough terrain. So it'd be two to one. Two to one. But you can't kill him. So he'll be a five to a three. Here. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to start here. Nine to five. So that's going to be a two, two to a zero. zero. Seven to six. We can just back some up. Okay. okay. All right. We're good here. Now we're down here again. Moving down the line. Close up on the action on this end. So he's a five to a six, down to a five. He's a five down to a four. <coughs> He's a five down to a four. He's a four. <coughs> we'll go here first, four to four. Four to four. Push him back. So the six I lost. I guess it really didn't do anything for me, did it? It doesn't change anything. Only would have changed if you killed him. Yeah. So he's a five to a six down to a five. He's a five down to a four. So five to four. Locked. 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 Okay. That's it. Uh oh. Eustace has got a six. Uh -oh. Williams gets a six. Odo gets a three. He's still trying to survive this battle. Okay, so after much gnashing of teeth and complaining, the the Normans get a decent command pit roll. And it's coming down to this all critical left flank. Okay, pushing him back in. That's one. One. Two. Not going into combat there? He can't. I can't because I was in the zone of control. He, you were in his he, zone. He oh, yeah, he he you weren't on his flank. flank. That's correct. Thanks. Two, three, three left. Oh, we're going to see some knights action here. Can they get there? Not quite in range, are they? Oops. Sorry about that. That's okay. There's one. Oops, I better measure that where he ends up because I don't think he can get there. You just short? No. Oh no, he can get there. Okay. You can get you can get him to that corner. Alright, so one night's going in. Well, we have our first night charge of the day. One command point left. Okay. Actually, Is he coming with? Okay. Those two together, okay. yeah. Those two together? All right, so that's your six on that end. I'm going to the center or the flank? Oh, the flank here. Okay, heading over to the flank. So, one, two, and three. Okay, so we've got. That's it for them. That's it for them. We got three combats. In the center. <laughs> well, he thought he was going to get me. Here come the skirmishers. All right. So 
We moved in the elite foot with skirmishers on the flanks. Heavy foot moving over to make room. Okay, okay. gonna pause. Okay. All right. Start down there? Yep. Okay, so we're changing the camera angle a little bit. We're gonna work on this end of the line first with the big camera so we can see all the way down the line, kind of what the battle wide view looks like. So okay. I'm gonna start here. Starting here. I'm elite foot versus heavies. Um, so I'm a five mm -hmm. and you're gonna be a four down to a three and I'm a four, but there's no hill. Bumps. No hill anymore because no. you've broken so the crest. Four to three. A six to nine, I lose. Okay, backing up. Okay, so then there next door. Um, six to. It's gonna be five to five. Um, five to four. Right. So okay. Eight to eight. Good luck. Um, now let's go here. Okay, so that's a knight. The knight's gonna be a three versus foot. Mm -hmm. Um. The house carls would normally be a three versus mounted, but they're going to be uphill, so they're going to go to a four, but they're overlapped here, so they're back to a three. So it's a three to a three at this location, mm -hmm. but the knights do shatter the, the elite foot. <laughs> and they <laughs> lock. Both roll sixes. It's two sixes and they lock. All right, All right. now the javelin cavalry, three. Um, three. The heavy foot would be a three, they're uphill to a four, down, to, down a to a three. So it's once again, three to three. Six. And that's gonna back them up. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, where do you wanna go next, Brian? Um, let's go here. Okay, so here we have elite foot versus heavy foot. Five to five. So I'm a nine and you're ten. Okay. Let's do the skirmishers because nothing's going to change okay, that now. So zero, zero to six. So I'm a six. Eight. Skirmisher's just too good, isn't he? All right, so where do you want to go next? You have elite foot, elite foot, and skirmisher, and javelin cap. Uh, we'll go elite foot there, five to five. Five to five. Okay. Six. 10 to 6. Yep. And the difference being that we push these back because there's heavy foot behind them. They're not the same troop type for now. So I'm a 5 to your 6. I'm down to a 3, though. 6 to 3 right there. Okay. So I'm a 6 to your 11. Ooh. That was dangerously close. All right. Um, right here. Let's do the skirmisher. I'm going to be a one to your five. So I'm a three to 11. Okay. We're going to do the magic evade. All right. And then now that makes that I'm a one. The jab cap to your three to a four, four to one. So I'm a five. It's a five. They lock. Okay. Now this one's interesting. Um, rebel or what? Two to two. Two to two. Let's do that one first. Okay. I'm a four to your seven. Here you go. Oh, yep. Yeah, back up. Now, what's interesting is if you'd pushed him back, you would have taken away his fallback position. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to be a two. Um, two or three. Two to you, you go up to a three. Yep, two to three. So four to your five. Okay. And I'm a three down to a two well, down to a zero. You're actually going to be a um, negative because you start out at a three. Go down to actually gonna be a zero, yeah, yeah zero yeah. because of the rough terrain that's underneath the base. Yeah, mm -hmm. so zero. So so I'm a four to a five down to a three. 
because I'm in rough going. We started at three. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep three. Yep. three. Yeah, so started I'm down three. to a two. Yeah, you're down to a two because of the rough going. Six, rough terrain. two, three. But you did pull them forward. Okay. And he'll evade. He can end up somewhere back there just to the side. And it's right. now the Saxon command. We're going to continue with this view for a little while because I think I like the side view of the battlefield. Two. One. Mm. We have a five, a two in the center, and a one on the end where you needed the command control points. Well, mm -hmm. probably needed them. I'm going to bring these guys back. So I brought these back for two. Okay. Brought these back for two. So I still got three there. And a one. And a one. And a one. Hmm. That one's kind of tricky. Okay, and going forward, which helps take the overlap off of the, heavy, the elite foot. Yep. All right, where do you want to start your command rolls? Um, go. I think we've only got these and these. So I'll be a three to a four. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a, what is that, a three? He starts at a three, he starts at a three, goes to a one. To a, well, he goes down to a one, right? <clears throat> but yeah, you're just going to bounce him is all you're going to do there. Yeah. So that one's not that significant. Um, keep a little here, okay? Because I'm going to be a five to a six, he's going to be a five to a four. Right. So six to four here, Brian. Eight, 12 to eight. Push back. push him back because you can't go through the, the mount with a closed order foot. All right, so I'm a four to a five, five to a four. I'm a five. Six, one. So I'm a five, so I'm 11 to five. So you doubled him and you charge forward. So elite foot dies. Okay. And we got this one down. Oh, we got this one. Here you go. Is that one still? Yes, yeah, you do. Locked, yeah. Okay. So what is he against mounted three? Well, he's a three. Um, to a four. Up, down he to goes a up to a four, down to a three for the overlap. Oh, you're a three to my two. And he's a three down to a two for the overlap. So it's three to two. Nine to five. Didn't double him. But the nice thing for you is if you do double the knight, you can kill it. Um, the nice thing for him is he's just got to beat you by one. So I'm a three to a four. You're a three to a one. So two, so one to one. Move forward. Invade. 